Uh, meanwhile, the other uh, operative um, issue for Brett Kavanaugh is that he has a, um, to the extent that we are allowed to know, a um, fairly extensive um, uh, on the record sense that a president cannot be uh, subpoenaed. Um, he also has a record of knowing that perhaps maybe you shouldn't um, even charge a president while he's in office. We also know that he um, has refused to opine on any of this. Now, <clears throat> the idea that maybe he spoke to someone at Donald Trump's personal law firm, and even if he was unaware of it, seems to be a little bit problematic but the question of uh brett kavanaugh and remember this is one of those guys who was not on the original list that donald trump presented when he was a candidate from the heritage foundation he was added he was added about a year ago and that's interesting because uh, this guy has a record that would suggest he does not think a president should be burdened by any criminal <laughs> cases. So, and there's a lot of people who think that no judge appointed by Donald Trump, and it makes sense on some level, right, should be, uh, should be should be adjudicating any cases that are brought against him. And so Richard Blumenthal, former attorney general from the state of Connecticut, asked uh, Kavanaugh this question. I would like your commitment that you will recuse yourself if there is an issue involving his criminal or civil liability Pause it. coming before. His meaning President Trump's criminal or civil liability coming before the United States Supreme Court. In other words, will you take yourself out of ruling right. on any of the issues involving his personal criminal or civil liability? Senator, one of the uh, core principles I've articulated here is the independence of the judiciary, which I know you care about deeply, too, and I think undergirds uh, some of your comments yesterday. And the independence of the judiciary is critical to the uh, confidence of the American people in the judiciary and to the rule of law in the United States. Pause it. So um, what Brett Kavanaugh believes is that the, it is critical that the citizenry perceive the judiciary as independent from politics, independent from the person that appoints them. It's, it's critical that the, that the citizenry perceive it that way. Never mind, like, we don't know what the reality is, but perceive it that way. So, of course, of course, in an abundance of ca uh, caution and in total deference to the principle I've just articulated, Brett Kavanaugh will now say, so, yes, of course I would recuse myself because anything else would add the appearance of a potential of the judiciary not being independent. That's right, right? Brett. That's what he's going to say, appearance. right? Of course. Appearance, appearance. All in the United States. But one key facet of independence of the judiciary, oh, but. as I've studied the history of nominees, is not to uh, make commitments on particular cases. I'm not asking for a particular commitment, and I'm going to take your answer as a no, it's really a yes or no question, you will not commit to recuse yourself. You will not commit to take yourself out of that decision despite the unique circumstances of your nomination. Uh, Senator, I think uh, to be consistent with the principle of independence of the judiciary, I should not and may not make a commitment about how I would handle a particular case. And the decision to participate in a case is itself a, a decision in a particular case, and therefore following the precedent set by all the nominees before me, 
I need to be careful. And again, you may just understand no one is asking him about a particular case. No one's saying, hey, if there is a, a case of, of, of uh, conspiracy to defraud the United States, would you recuse yourself? Or if there is a case involving obstruction, would you recuse yourself? Or if there's a case uh, involving a lawsuit brought by um, uh, women who, have, um, uh, d who, who feel they have been defamed by uh, uh, Donald Trump, would you recuse yourself? Or if uh, there's a criminal complaint that he uh, assaulted a woman, would you recuse yourself? That would be a particular case. Blumenthal is asking about a particular person. Would you recuse yourself based upon the circumstances of your appointment? Would you recuse yourself from any case, not a particular case, any case that involves the president? And Brett Kavanaugh would have us believe that to ensure the independence or the perception of independence, that he can't make a commitment to Congress that somehow that ensures the perception of independence, even though everyone with half a brain knows that if you want to ensure the perception of independence, certainly you would have to prove it from the person who hired you for that job that you will not sit and judge that guy. Uh, you're speaking pretty fast right now. <laughs> they, just, uh. they just don't care. They just don't. Care. Also, somebody just pointed it out to me in the chat that he sounds like Joe Rogan, and now I cannot unhear it. <laughs> Let's check. Uh, that finish out. this uh, clip here. By all the nominees before me, I need to be careful. And again, you may disagree with this, but this is part of what I see as independence of the judiciary. Well, I do disagree, and I am troubled and disturbed by your refusal to say that you will take yourself out of that kind of case. I I mean, that, that's pretty stunning. Blumenthal could have followed up a little bit more on that. What did Kagan, Kagan had to recuse herself from the Obamacare? Well, decision? she recused herself from many cases uh, as, because she was Solicitor General. Obama's Solicitor General. She had worked on these cases as Solicitor right. General. That has happened. There's plenty of times where, where, people, where, where Supreme Court justices have recused themselves. Um, this is a fairly unique in, uh, uh, situation in that there is an ongoing investigation with a clear possibility, one could argue probability, that some issue involving that investigation, whether it's the question of whether a president could be subpoenaed, whether it's whatever it is, could come in front of this court. And you don't need to know the particulars of that case to simply know that, like, are, do you feel like it's legitimate? Do you feel like you're upholding that key core principle you've stated that the judiciary must be perceived as being independent? Can you do that unless you commit now to not adjudicating any of those cases? Yeah, it's, but yes. as the president himself has, has said, it would be... A little weird when somebody does you a solid, like getting a lifetime appointment to the Supreme Court to then not rule in their favor and help them get away with all of the multiple crimes that they have and continue to commit, Senator. So I hear where you're coming from, but I think we have... Actually, it is fun to rogue he, he and cabin off. I think we have a legit disagreement on this. <laughs> Couldn't it? He, he could also have just gone like, just when you said that, like case, Kasowitz, I just noticed that. Yeah, I just I'm feel like I'm You're seeing a like I'm seeing a pattern here. Kasowitz, <laughs> that's the name of the lawyer, and then it's like case, and I don't know if anybody else noticed. I that don't know if all. anybody like, else, and I don't know if you two are coordinating, but, but all right. Let's